Mary Jane, I have never betrayed anybody. I have never betrayed anybody. I have explained my life to people with a genuine heart. <clears throat> but people take advantage of my condition, my situation against me. I have never betrayed anybody. I was surprised when you were telling when you were telling me this morning that they said I am a betrayer. I don't betray. I respect relationship. I value it. The only person that I know can say that as an EFCC person is Sadiq. And what happened? From when Sadiq was introduced to me by Ajia, all Sadiq was helping me to do was to break protocols. And it's not my nature. He was the one that told me that EFCC want to kill me, that I should run. I ran for my dear life. The way he was telling me, I ran. And he told me he's settling this, settling that. Then I had some money. He would tell me I should bring five million so that they give to the uh, head of department. I give to the woman five million. I gave him to give to the woman. The very day that I released that money, the second day, there was a serious hit on me. If money have not entered Sadiq's hand, at least 55 million have entered his hand. And I remember a day he told me that they have carried the file and have thrown the file away. It's the same file that you saw just now. The, you are telling me that you saw yesterday. Okay, so Dick, out of me running, so Dick, he was the one that sent people. I knew that forcefully I was beaten, molested. I forcefully accepts giving out the property because he said he want to give it, he want to sell it and give it to a judge. I told him I'm not selling that house. That house belonged to my son, it's not my own. So Dick went to my office, forced my driver, brought in some boys, moved my cars, and said he will move them. The same thing happened. He went to my water factory. He moved all the machine one night. Carried my mechano. Okay, the house that he forced me to collect, he, he, the things inside the house, down to my towel and my boxer, they are still there with something. What will I do? How do I betray him? And he's doing all these things. He's telling me I should not say anything to anybody. Imagine Sadiq would tell me that I should not talk to anybody in Nigeria, even my wife, not my brother, not my lawyer. What were you expecting? And now I am talking to one or two persons. Sadiq is saying I betray him. I did not betray him. I am looking for help. And if I am not getting it from you, I am crying out to another person. Okay, look at the extent you have gone now. If I did not talk to you, would I have gone, gotten to that extent? He said I should not come back to Nigeria till after 10 years. People are dying in that country. Everything is shattered. People need me, Mary Jane, you know. You know how many? 48 orphans are in school. I am their father, their mother, their brother, their sister, everything. What happened to the aged people that I am taking care of? What happened to the orphans that are in the school? Okay, not that, the members of the church. That I am, I, I, God forbid, I am not their life, their life wire, but God has connected me to them. How will I betray anybody? They just want to poison these people's hearts so that they cannot help me. But I tell you the truth. God in heaven knows that I did not betray anybody. And I will stand on my ground to tell, to prove I, that alone I will prove to these people that are helping me now. I don't betray. I don't betray anybody. Help me tell them, possibly play this record to them. So Dick is going around and said, I must end in jail. I don't know what I have done. I don't know. 
Himanaji had a taking my name to native doctor everywhere. I don't sleep well, I don't eat well, I don't I I, I, I stay in fear. They don't want me to come back at all. Please talk to them. I am grateful.